So today's going to be a 30 minute advanced workout. This is one you are not going to want to miss. I'm gonna be taking you through step ups. So we're actually gonna be walking up through each of our intervals. Yes, there are intervals. Yes, it is 30 minutes. Yes, you're going to get a great workout plus warm up and cool down. As always here at Dark Horse, any machine goes. So it doesn't matter what you want. Let's just get it done together. I'm gonna to stop talking. Let's just get the workout moving because that's what you're here for after all. Grab that machine, strap in, grab your handle, sit ready, and we're gonna get moving in three Three, two, one, and go. Okay. So just a light flow right now. Here's the name of the game. It's just move. Your objective, just try to look like my stroke looks. <laughs> Greatest coaching cue ever. Just do what I'm doing. See? <laughs> Don't worry, there's more to come. But for the moment, just keep it nice and easy and light. The thing I want you to be thinking about as we get through the warm-up is move with intention. Don't just move back and forth. You get that down, you learn to move with intention on this machine, and a lot will start to happen. So joining me here, just some light movement to start. We're gonna throw in some fun here in just a second. Keep it interesting. Okay, we're gonna add in a little drill here now. So we're going to take it down, meaning we're gonna strip away parts of the stroke, to legs only. That means my trunk is going to stay closed, my arms are going to stay straight, and I'm going to row just by pushing the machine away with my legs in two strokes. That's one. And there's two. So just legs only now. It's gonna feel weird. Go with me. Let's get weird together. This is what makes it fun. Learn something new. Learn how to brace so that the trunk doesn't fly open. Learn to squeeze your triceps, make them stick out, and learn to push through the legs. Some would say the legs are the most important part of the stroke. Some, some, not sure who that would be. Okay, we're gonna add in the trunk, but not the arms. So it'll be legs and trunk now. So you get to swing the hips open in two strokes. There's one. There's two, add in the hip swing. Okay, stroke rate slows down. Notice how I'm going slower on the way up than I am on the way back. That's because we recover. It's called the recovery. So during that phase of the stroke, you can't do any work. I can't work on the machine as I slide forward. And I don't use stroke rate to make me go faster on this machine. I use power to make me go faster. And once I can control power, once I can harness the power, then, then stroke rate will make sense and it'll be effective. Okay, let's add in the arms. I'm sure your shoulders are getting tired from holding the handle up in two strokes. That's one. That's two. Let's add in the arms for a full stroke. Ooh, that feels nice. Ha, ah, so juicy. No more burn. <laughs> okay. So now let's just gradually increase the pressure that you're pushing into the machine. So this isn't rating up, meaning I don't start taking more strokes per minute. I just start pushing through my whole foot a little bit harder. Squeeze your trunk as if you were sneezing or laughing or just saying the word ha dryly. That sound should create tension down in your obliques, in your trunk. That's gonna make you strong so that when you push through the legs, the legs actually do something. They make the machine go faster. That makes you get more meters per stroke, burn, burn more calories, use more of your body, all the good stuff. Okay, let's take five strokes, building in pressure to finish up this warm up. That's one. Make the machine loud. That's two. That's three. 
That's four. And that's five. Two more strokes, light and easy. That's one. And that's two. Go ahead and put that handle down. So now, all we need to move into at this point, now we just need to get the workout on the monitor. From there, we're gonna be off to the races. So let's just talk through setting this thing up. Again, I'm on a Concept 2, but any machine flies. You just learn how to set it with your monitor because it's gonna be time-based. So from the main menu, go to Select Workout. That's the B button. New Workout, D button. Intervals, D button. Intervals, Time, B button. Now it's got set time as one minute. I wanna change that to eight. So I need to hit the plus button B seven times. One, two, three, Seven. Now I need to hit the right arrow, the A button, one, two, three, four times. That brings me down to the rest time. From here, I'm gonna hit that plus button twice, one, two. That gives me eight minutes on, two minutes off. That is gonna be the interval today, but there was so much more detail inside of it. So hold tight, because you're gonna get those details as we go through the workout. That's the fun, is you're never quite sure what's happening next, because it could change with every single interval. So you've got eight on, two off. We go ahead and hit that check mark E button. Workout is up on the monitor, and we are ready to go. So with that being said, let's strap in, sit ready. We're gonna take off on our first eight minute interval. Here you go, grab that handle. In three, two, one, go! <sighs> Starting out at an 18. I'm gonna set the rate for you. And you follow along with me. Okay, so the objective right now, I want your pressure at about 65% effort. Let me get to that actual 18 like I told you I was gonna be at. 17. Come on, Shane. Get it together, there we go, 18. So, 65% effort as we cruise at this 18. Now I want you working, but I don't want you crushing yourself right now. And that's because part of this workout is learning how to control your output to learn that it's not just 100% or nothing. Because if all you ever give is 100%, well, the question is 100% relative to what? Right? So if you have 100% to give for two minutes and then I ask you to do six minutes, well, two minutes at 100% isn't gonna cut it. Learning, how do I take off some percentage, 30%, so that I can last for eight minutes, or in this instance, 24 minutes total. All of a sudden our workouts get longer they get more effective because now I know exactly the right dosage to give for each interval, the time of that interval. This is all the good learning stuff that's gonna make you strong. And so that's the key. Learn your way on the machine. Allow me to be your guide. I will happily shepherd you to new mechanics and better performance. Okay, we're gonna take that rate up in two, and that's two, here we go, up to 20. Now with it, bring up the pressure. So now we're gonna move up to about 75%. So I'm moving that stroke rate from 18 to 20. You are moving your effort from 65% to 75, meaning your split should go down or go faster, however you want to think of it. Okay. Which means as I take you to 75%, you should start to think now that you should be breathing a little bit heavier. Again, not dying yet. Don't worry. I'll give you a chance to die on the handle. You just wanna be breathing a little bit heavier, working a little bit harder, conversating, kinda of like talking to you through a YouTube video should get a little bit harder. And if you're responding to me, what are you doing talking to your TV screen? That's weird. Focus on your own.
I'm starting to settle in here, getting into my own zone. About to cross that halfway point. Rate's gonna come up to a 22. In two, that's one. That's two, here we go, rate 22. With it, the pressure comes up to 85%. So drop your split again. And settle in. Hang from the handle. I'm sitting at a 148 right now. Started at a 202. So that you have a frame of reference for how much you can be bringing your splits down. Thinking to breathe. Imagining that you're right next to me and right next to everybody else doing this workout. Your goal, slowly nudge ahead of the person next to you. Maybe they're holding the same split. Your goal, move one meter ahead, then two meters ahead. Just do it by subtly dropping seconds off of your split. Getting more work out of every stroke. And up to a 24 on this one. Here we go. Final two minutes. Effort 95%. Here's where you really push. Walk that split down. That person next to you made a move. Here's where you challenge them. Don't let them get away from you. They're one second below you on the split. That means they're making up meters. Can you push and stop the challenge? Let's do it together, I'm with you. Feed off of me. Use my energy. I got you. Think of me as a nitro boost. I'm bringing you that extra effort. I'm giving you that second. I'm down at a 145. 144. This is where I wanna be for my final minute. Each stroke, pushing my competition away. Thirty seconds. Drop it again if you can. Keep the rate. Breathing. Uh, and there's our first interval done. Woo. Okay. Learn what you learned. Look at your tonal meters. Yeah. Look at your average split. I finished with 2,128 meters and a 152.7. Just a reminder, if you want to see my results from every workout in detail, follow me on Strava, Shane Farmer. You'll come see 
every workout I do, I link Erg Data, that's Concept 2's app, to my monitor, because a lot of you have asked, how do I do it? And then Erg Data and Strava link to each other. So, when Erg Data picks up that a workout is done, and I sync it, it automatically sends it to Strava. Strava auto posts it. Hey, voila, you have my results. So, if you wanna take a moment to chill, you can. About 45 seconds left. Stretch out if you need to. Otherwise, come back to the movement. We're gonna duplicate that now. So that same rate step up is what we're gonna do here. Keep your hands nice and wide on the handle. Remember, 65% to start. It's a step up each time, which is nice. Okay, memorize your average split and your total meters. Your goal is to beat it by one meter or 0.1 second. Here we go. 21, 28, and 152.7. All right, 18. Here we go. Just leaning on that handle. 65% effort. It might actually be hard to go at 65% effort now because your body's like, hey, we just went hard. <laughs> How do we tone it down again? That is a huge lesson that you are going to learn today and a great one for your performance. So just keep that in mind. Breathing it out. Might feel a little heavy right now too. Cause you're a little bit tired from that first one. It's okay. So imagine that, that class scenario that I set up for you. Everyone else doing this workout, they're shoulder to shoulder with you. All of you had that two minutes to recover. So you know everybody else rested too, which means you got no excuse to let off the throttle because you got that person right next to you, challenging you, saying, you know, that would be nice to let each other take it easy. Here's where the work starts. We don't let each other take it easy. We push each other and that's where the work happens. That's where you become that dark horse. You own your life. You own your decisions. It happens when you cut through the clutter and do the hard work. Taking it up to 20 on this one. Two beats up. All right. Catch, send, catch, send, push that machine away. Hang off of the handle with your lats. Pick up that tension lightly and then accelerate with the handle. Treat it with finesse. There we go. One minute down at this 20. Peek to your left, peek to your right. Look at those athletes sitting next to you. They are equally as fit as you. Right now they are stroke for stroke with you. You're dead even, all three of you. And each of you is thinking, all right, who's gonna be the first person to make a move? Because when that first person goes, you gotta chase. There's no holding back. Sitting at this 20.
I'm at a 156 right now. Started at 209. All right, taking it up, 22 on this one. 85%. Thinking light and quick. Maintain your posture. I'm at a 150 even. 149. Just working through. You're still nose to nose. With that person to your left, person to your right. Person to your left makes a nudge down. Go with them. They drop their split by one second. They're holding it too. They're not letting off. One second down means they're walking meters away from you. Push back. I'm with you. I dropped to 148. Here we go. We're making a move. This move is just to hold. It's to not let them gain distance. As soon as we go to 24, you and me, we're making a move together. We're gonna counter. We're gonna shock them, they're not ready for it. I got chills, let's go into this. 24, drop it. Here's your move. You're gonna move for this minute. One forty three, one forty four. I'm with you. You're making a move, come on. You're putting distance on, come on. Here they go, they're trying to counter. They drop down a second below you, but you have a small gap. A small lead ahead of you. Push. Cancel out their move. Don't let them gain anything. Come on. Twenty seconds. Final push. Oh. Ah. That was not easy. I'm pretty sure I came in exactly the same. 21, 28, 152.7. Oh, I was giving you everything I had there. Really trying to lean on it at that 24. So we're still moving now. Because if you stop, 
legs are not gonna be happy. So just keep them moving. Think about mechanics. And then just put as little effort into the handle as you can. I'm looking off into the nothingness like somebody save me, please. All right, set that handle down if you need. If you need to do a little shake out on the legs, you're welcome to. I would like to. In fact, I want to have water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Hop back on. <laughs> no time to waste. Am I finished? No. I'm not finished. We still have a third interval. Eric data. So again, memorize your split, memorize your distance. Here we go. Picking up in two, one, 18. Here it is. Lock in. This is your rest two minutes. A recovery two minutes, if you will. There it is. Again, your goal, meet or beat your previous round score. By the way, you beat that person next to you by one meter, which means they're sitting next to you right now and you can see how pissed they are. <laughs> you know that feeling. You know how close you were, you could taste it. But somebody nudged you out. They got that feeling right now and they are not gonna let go of it. It is gonna take everything you've got throughout this entire eight minutes to beat them again. They're starting to push a little bit early here. You may want to counter. I'm holding this 18 for you. Getting ready to step up. Focus on your exhales right now. While the going's still a little mellow. Here we go, 20. Think about light and quick instead of power. Do it with light, quick movements. It'll save you from grinding too hard. A big deal when it comes to maximizing each stroke is really hanging from the handle and letting it whip instead of trying to break it with the elbows. Whip it at the end of the stroke. I'm at a 157 right now. That person next to you, still not letting up. They're one to two seconds faster on the split than the, pe than the previous piece. Are you gonna go with them? Or are you gonna let them walk away? You're not gonna be able to make it up at the end. Getting ready to go up.
22, here we go. Again, light, snappy. That's my focus. Don't grind. Push. Settling in. I'm getting quiet because I'm working for you. Going up to a 24. Here we go. One minute, let's go. Oh, that was atrocious in such a good way. Oh man, you pushed me. I went there, if you couldn't tell, by being completely silent the final two minutes. But I did it. 152.5, 0.2 faster than the last two pieces. 21.33, it was 21.28 before. Got it by five meters. Oh, that my friends. You, I'm proud of you. Oh, keep moving with me. Don't stop, 
Don't ever stop after a workout like this. Oh, that was juicy. Hey, while you're here, if you're looking for a community, you're getting started, you're like, I have so many questions. And where are all the other people doing this? Come join me in the crew. Link's in the description below. Best rowing community in the world. Most supportive, everybody there associates with being a dark horse. It's all about building you up. So if you want that, you want those people, answer your questions, tell you you're doing amazing. You can meet people from all over the world. Join us in the crew, description below. That's all I have to say about that. So let's go ahead and let this one end. Let's just go ahead and stop so that our monitor reads that it's done and then we'll start back up again into our cool down, which you better stay for. Okay, I'm gonna hit just row now for this cool down. Concept to logbook, try to short me a workout. Don't worry, I'll manually upload it later. Okay, swing with me, here we go, into the cool down. <laughs> Sorry for the distraction. It happens sometimes. Okay, go with me here. We're just gonna take a few strokes to loosen things up. Woo-wee! That one felt it. I was feeling like right here, right in the, right in the gut section. That little like feeling about the entire last four minutes of that workout. Oh man. Okay, hanging off that handle just light and easy. Okay, let's just take two more strokes. That's one. And that's two, handle down. Okay, we're gonna take just a few stretches here. Get the water bottle out of the way. You're gonna get off your machine, come down onto your belly. And press yourself up into some extension on the floor. Bring yourself back down, press back up. And just keep that up. We're gonna press it up 15 times. Five, six, seven, eight. Only go as high as you comfortably can. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 on the last one, hold for a moment. 15, let that back soften, that lower back soften. All right, bring yourself up to all fours. Take your hips, send them back. Ooh. Get that nice stretch out. Okay, bring yourself back up to the seat. Now oh, take that right leg out in front, left hand across. Get a stretch into that right posterior chain, that lower back, hip, glute, hamstring. And let's switch sides. Very nice. Take that chin, tuck it down your chest. And then open your head. Take a twist over the right. And a twist over the left. And while we're twisting here, I'm gonna send you off. So make sure if you're looking for more advanced workouts, you check out this advanced playlist right here. And otherwise hit that subscribe button bell next to it so you get alerted when I come out with new workouts just like this for you. Keep your training going. See you guys in the next one.